Hello and welcome everyone to another Psy video. This time we'll be adding interactive music to the Angry Bots example project that comes with Unity and we'll do so without any scripting just by drag and drop. So at this point I've done three things for preparation. First is I downloaded and imported the Psy music engine and the Psy demo soundtrack from the asset store. Both are available for free. Second step is I have removed a lot of enemy bots from the scene as otherwise this would just have been non-stop action and there would be just no room for me to demonstrate the Psy features. So the remaining enemies have increased health and now this feels a little more like an action adventure game. The last step is that I had to move the inner Psy folder to the standard assets folder here because Angry Bots is written in Unity script and Psy is written in C sharp. So this is common practice to get the compilation order right in those cases. So if your project is written in C sharp, don't worry about that. So now we are ready to go and our first step is to drag and drop the Psy prefab from the Psy folder into our scene. The Psy prefab consists of three different components. The first one is responsible for loading a soundtrack. Our demo soundtrack is located in the resources folder and there you'll find a soundtrack file and you just drag and drop it onto the Psy soundtrack loader component. So now when we press play we see the Psy player interface projected onto our game scene. At the moment this is rather confusing, so I will switch most of the features off and just keep the list of imported themes. In there we'll find a theme called Africa, which has ID2, and this will be the one we'll be playing when the scene starts. Sounds like this. And later when we step into the space station, we want more eerie background music. For this we'll use the theme called Not Safe which has ID5, it sounds like this. So to achieve that, let's first take a look at the special folder that comes with Psy, it's called Trigger. And in there you'll find a whole collection of different scripts that can be attached to any game object that should affect the interactive score at runtime. The first thing we want to do is to play back the Africa theme uh, whenever the scene starts. So first I create an empty game object that will be responsible for that. And let's call it uh, my Psy uh, music on start. To this object I just um, drag and drop the script called Psy trigger on scene start. And I select theme ID 2 for our Africa theme. And now when we press play, we hear that the Africa theme is playing instantly in the background. Like I explained in an earlier video, you also see that the dynamic intensity level is decreasing gradually. And when it finally has reached zero, the music will stop. And Psy will then go into a music rest mode and then uh, keep silent for some time and then play again for some time, which is the default behavior for themes of type basic mood like our Africa theme. Our second task was to switch to more eerie music whenever the player steps through this corridor here into the space station. So I select the corridor. Um, the game object is called uh, Polysurface 4901 and I will drag and drop the script called Psy Trigger on Player Collision onto this game object. And in there you'll see uh, first the theme ID to be played back was uh, theme 5 on not safe basic mood. It's also of type basic mood which will uh, result in not crossfading instantly whenever the player steps into the space station but rather wait for the right moment at the end of the playing segment and uh, switch to the next theme as subtle as possible. And we will start with 50% starting intensity as we later want to raise this when the player uh, goes deeper into the space station to raise the level of uneasiness. So much for the general background music for the scene. In the second part of this tutorial we'll be adding adaptive battle music to the enemy spiders. And until then I say thanks for watching, bye bye.